System of a Down frontman Serge Tonkin has made no secret about his quarrels with his bandmates in System of a Down when it comes to songwriting. They have issues with songwriting, they have issues with creative control, the disbursement of royalties, and just a litany of other issues, and that is why we haven't had a new album from System of a Down in over 10 years, obviously. So we were very pleasantly surprised when a few weeks ago, System of a Down came out with two new songs, their first new music in well over 10 years, Genocidal Humanoids and Protect the Land. And this was entirely to raise probably close to a million dollars now for uh, what is happening over in Armenia. They say that there is a genocide that could be happening over there right now and it's happening under the cover of COVID-19 when nobody's paying attention to other conflicts the media is so focused on the virus so uh Surge though does have plans to release songs that he intended to be used from System of a Down this is very passive aggressive of both the guys you've got Darren Malakian he released a Scars on Broadway record that includes a lot of the material he was going to use for System and now you've got Surge using his stuff for system he's releasing in an EP. And wouldn't it be nice if they just allotted half of the System of a Down record to Surge and half of the System of a Down record to Darren Malaki? And see, you can hire me as your therapist like uh, they did in the Some Kind of Monster movie for Metallica, and I can just settle these beefs for you guys, and you guys can pay me like $2.5 million, and I will help you guys put an album out, and we'll just settle the drama. So... <laughs> All kidding aside, System of a Down is obviously one of the most beloved rock bands in history, and it would be great to see them put out new music. The fact that this music was so well received, maybe they have a little bit more confidence, and maybe it's a little bit easier to get back together and do something. Who knows? But if and when they do do it, it's going to be a surprise. They're not going to tell us that they're working on it, because look at the reaction it got when they dropped these two new tunes. I think... Uh, they should surprise us and tell us the album's coming out. I don't think they should surprise release it. So yeah, Surge is going to be putting this EP out. He told Rolling Stone that Elasticity, the name of the EP, is a collection of songs that he wrote for System. He says, quote, Elasticity, the songs for the EP that were written many years back. When I wrote them, the original concept for me was what rocks, rock songs actually came right out of me when we could possibly work with System on. So the intention was actually to sit down and I've played them for the other guys in System and even kind of messed around with some of them and whatnot. And obviously we were unable to see eye to eye on continuing the future recordings for System, except for obviously these two songs because uh, that we've done. And that was before, obviously a couple years before. So these songs, I decided to finish them and release them. And they are really interesting and beautiful songs. Going to be really heavy type of system-esque type of music uh, to really beautiful balladedly, including pianos and string arrangements and stuff like that. So it's quite diverse for just five songs and thematically it's quite diverse as well. A song about terrorism, a song about protests in Armenia years ago, a song about my son, my son Rumi, Kind of also a cut with the poet Rumi in a way. It's an homage to the poet Rumi and his namesake, basically, in a way. And a few other pieces, so it's kind of all around the place as everything I do. He says it was supposed to come out in October, but when the war started, we decided to put out two songs for System. That took priority for me, and I just called the record company that we're working with and said, we need to push this. Can we make this work? And they were very cool about it. So Elasticity, the title is a play on toxicity from System of a Down there famed 2001 record and uh, so we have some high expectations for this it was going to be used for system it'll be interesting to hear that when it comes out this record is due out in february we don't have a hard date on it yet it looks like so i will let you know as soon as i know more about this i'm sure you guys will be patiently waiting as will I. That's all for now, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today at Rockfeed. If you're new here, you can subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you all very soon.